Okay, now we'll move on to a very, very intimidating question on functions. And, and I would say that if we're not careful about definitions and not careful about, careful about algebra manipulations, we're going to stumble a bit. Especially, it's vitally important that we know the meanings and what, what's going on. Okay, we got this function over here, okay, and then we need to find, which is function, we put in this, this thing over here like that, okay, which is really complicated in itself, is equal to this thing over here, and we need to find the function of secant squared, theta. Okay, now you will see, you know, what, what's going on. You got your theta there, you got a secret trigonometry function, you got a, a massive function over here, okay? But really, let's reduce the, the meanings and let's just see what, what the information or what the information is trying to tell me, okay? So, this is how it goes. Now, it says that I, I would have to think a value of x. Any value of x, I put it inside here, and then it will do its own manipulation over here, okay, to give me a certain, another value, okay, and that value, when I apply the function, is equals to the, the value of x that I picked and I put it inside here. Well, whatever I just said might, may, may not even help you, okay? I even may not know what I'm talking about, okay? But doesn't matter, okay? So what matters is that I need to find this one over here, right? Now, if I can somehow think of something to put inside x, okay? Just like how the usual definition of functions apply, and when I manipulate that, I get secant squared theta, then I'm on my way. Because I just sim simply think of that value of x to put inside here, then I got the function of secant squared theta that gives me that. I mission accomplish. The problem is finding what I need to put inside x, and that is the crux of the problem, okay? But I will want to reduce it to, to, to something like this. I want to reduce it by changing the variable so that when I work my way through, I got something like a fy. Okay, equals to something over here. Okay, you see, does that make sense? So that I can immediately put the sequence, secant theta, secant squared theta inside here and not worry about the substitution. As a matter of fact, using the change in variable already settles the substitution for me. Why? Now, I'll let y equals to x divided by x over 1. Okay, so I hope, I hope you see this. Okay, y equals to x divided by x minus 1. So that I'm just simply representing whatever here by a y. Okay, now obviously this would have to change. So I need to rearrange for x. Okay, let's see, can I do that? Is that going to be a problem? Okay, well, I can shift this over. So I've got x take away y equals to x. Okay, yes, bring this over the other side, multiply. Okay, bring this over the other side. So I've got x, y take away x equals to y. x x, y take away y equals to x, so I got x, y take away x is equal to y, and then I got x is equals to y, y divided by y take away 1. Okay, I simply bring x out and then bring this over the other side. So now I can rewrite this function, okay, as something like this. Function of y is equals to, and then I will put the x or whatever the x value is inside here, okay, which is 1 divided by Okay, this big formula over here, y take away 1, which is then equals to y, 1 over y. Okay, just taking the rest of the problem. So, this is the ultimate function that I have, and it's quite a good progress. Now, I would like to really explain again what is going on, okay? You see, I, I want to make a substitution so I can immediately put any value that I can think of inside the function over here. But the problem is that it's difficult for me to, to think of that, that value right from the start, you see? So I need to use a substitution like this, y equals to x take away x divided by x minus 1, knowing that now I can just immediately think of what I want to put inside in the form of y here, okay? Now, but the problem is, when I put that value inside for y, as I'm doing inside here, the original value of x, which I need to replace inside here, changes. It's definitely not that value, because that's the value of y, but it's linked by this equation over here, you see? I think of a certain value of y, the, the required value of x is over here. So for me to find the, the result of the function, I just rearrange for x, and I'm going to put this inside here, do it from here, and there you go. I think of a value of y, now everything's in y, because I think of a value of y, I can just immediately put y inside there, inside here, knowing that all the algebra has been taken care of by the change in the variable. Okay. I hope that is clear enough. So now move on to find this one. Function secant squared theta is equals to secant squared theta take away one, okay, which is secant squared theta divided by secant squared theta. And this would be if my 
I would believe it's tangent, okay? It's tangent, and tangent is written as sine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta, okay? And this is 1 over cosine squared theta, so I'm going to switch it again, and I get cosine squared theta at the top, and it's equals to sine squared theta, okay? And that is how we solve it. Now, does it seem intimidating now because you know the solution, but really, the crux of the problem is the change in the variable. You see, why do I say that? Now, let's just assume that I did not change the variable, okay? And this is good for enrichment, so I hope you listen to me. Okay, why? We're going to let y equals to secant squared theta, right? So essentially, we put y, uh, we put secant squared theta over here. And then we have to now find the corresponding value of x, which may be quite difficult. If I substitute the corresponding value of x inside here, I will get the same intended result, okay? And that is really why it's difficult because we started out with this thing over here. We need to really think of a function to, to manipulate it and gives us secret square theta. But by using the change in variable, it's already all handled for us because I have used the, the change in variable to sort things out, okay? A lot of stuff for just this one question, but I hope it's a step towards really understanding manipulating functions, okay? Yeah.